Hello everyone, my name is Free Crab, and today we're going to be playing this game called Dredge. It's uh, supposedly a game that's been out now for about half a year, more, more, more so, but uh, it's a game that looks pretty interesting to me, and I kept seeing it on my Steam page as like, uh, like one of the t top games selling. Oh, sorry, I got something in my throat one of the top games selling and I don't know I thought it looked cool I thought the design was very neat and for some reason it kept popping up in the horror category I don't think it's scary I feel like if a game is scary it would have like some scary elements but who knows maybe I'm missing out on something but uh I guess we'll begin and okay oh I need to hold it Oh, and I also got a new mic, so there's that. Hopefully my sound quality sounds has improved a lot. Um, I was also trying to figure out how I can get my microphone as an output, as an output device for speaking, and then my headset as just hearing. But uh, I figured it out, and... Uh... Oh, and sorry about not posting for a while for any of those who have already watched my one of my other two videos but it's because my college classes have started and started working as well and honestly hold on this is very loud Okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, I have classes that started. And I'm also started working. I work on towards the weekends and on Fridays. So I don't have the most free time. But um, I've also been procrastinating. It's not like I, I have to say that I haven't had a free day. But now that I got a new microphone, kind of got more motivated to start posting more. So I'm going to try to post a video at least once a week at the very least, maybe two. Um, I'm also going to have to see after this video how this microphone works because I just got it for for my birthday. That was this past week. And yeah, I guess let's uh, get into this game, new game. Dredging the Depths. Job listing. Angler wanted. Oh shit. Is my guy dead? I like the art style that they went for in this game. I, I like these type of uh, cute, artsy, not too... I mean, I, I like high quality games too, but this is very nice. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, bro. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Mero. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out of out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Hmm. Pursuit added. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Okay, so I have the time up here. The day... Day one, the time. Compass. 
So I have cargo. I'm guessing that's where I store stuff. And then cabin. Catch fish for the day. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, that's cool. It like the, it just transitioned from like this to this. Okay, well, guys, I know how to use WASD. Come on, rotate camera. Wait, oh, okay, that's fire. Okay, so. Okay, what did I catch? A blue mackerel, fresh. It's a coastal, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. Man, I'll catch plenty of these then. Oh, okay, and it's a puzzle game too. Well, I wouldn't say puzzle, but yeah, I guess it's like a puzzle. How many of these do I have to catch? Man, I'm, a, I'm becoming a beast. They got like sizes too. This is the biggest one I caught right here. Let's keep fishing, I guess. Oh, never mind. Um, let's go here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it even shows you the shape here, like what they're going to turn out to be. Like it matches it perfectly. Time only advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Alright. Sorry, I think I was a bit too far from the mic. Or maybe I'm too close now. Who knows? Oh. Okay, but I don't I don't want to fish more mackerels. These guys are, like they say, worthless. Plentiful and basic. Yeah, you see, we want cods. I don't think these are cods. They're cods. Okay. We're going to fish till we're full, I think. Because why not? I'd rather have an abundance than nothing. So where are we? Okay, that's the village we came from. Oh, so there's villages to visit. We gotta take a look at the time too. Shallow. We don't have the right equipment. Okay. Well, I guess we we'll, we'll go back. Oh, oh, okay. I see how fast this nighttime rolls up. Oh shit, bro. Oh fuck, the fog's everywhere. What the fuck? Yeah, dude. Okay, I can tell how it's kind of like a scary game, but it's not that scary. It's more. Wait. Oh, we have a light. Is this for like detection? Like, there's like an eye in the top too. So, oh, this game reminds me of uh, Don't Starve. If you think about it, if it's kind of like the, like when nighttime rolls up. How do I dock? Oh. When nighttime rolls up, it's uh, there's like all the monsters, and then during the day you're like perfectly safe. 
You step onto the dock at Greater Marrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you return in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to see to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds in hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? So fish helps the town pay off my debt. Where do I sell fish? Our local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. He's open all hours. Nice, the guy doesn't sleep. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Guess what? So my storage, I could see what I got. Wow, you look depressed. That's the only word I got for you. You enter a squaled shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What the fuck happened to the other? He. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. He's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some speak. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Some species are just worth more too. Uh, the tap. <coughs> Hold up, I need water. No, no. Is it going? Other towns on other islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outside here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. <coughs> So let's see what you've got. Oh, my friend, I've got everything for you. Do I just... Um, oh, okay. Oh, wait, I could just... F. My guy, look at all this shit. What's up? Sold cod, depth adjust. Oh, so it's like $2. It's like a, it's like a tax fee, you know? All right, that's it, buddy. I got nothing else. The mayor's standing outside the fishmonger store. You creepy fucker. Leave me alone. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the docks. I'm sure somehow you could make... You could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? I mean, for sure. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Oh, there's like a research line. Catches volcanic, shallow, coastal, shallow, coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. Oh, so these are like upgrades. Mangrove. Okay, so we want this thing. And then abyssal haddle. Oceanic. Okay. We got engines. We don't have pots and nets yet. Shipwright. Hey, mama. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to, to a damage hole. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Do I give her a voice, guys? I mean, she kind of had like a... Ah. You must be the... F no, no, no. Wrong voice. Mm. How about no voice for her? I can't do a female's voice. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Oh, she's got that accent. Round here. Payment is up front. And everything takes some time to install. Also, 
if you take on any damage from those rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair a number of wooden boards, as well as above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, but... Okay, this is to research. Oh, here. Okay, but what do I already have? An old rusty. Speed plus 10 knots. Plus ring. And I got a better one. That's a research part. Basic fishing pole for coastal. Uh, so these are lights. I don't really have a light. Cracked bulb. Okay, is this like one hour real time, real life time, or one hour like in game time? Better than a candle. I think I'll save up for cloudy lens, but I'll we'll get a simple skimmer. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense. She just. Boom, boom, bow. Okay, well, I guess I'm waiting for daytime. Research. Hold on. Um, so this. Research part. Curious looking component could be used to develop a new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. I don't think you... Oh, research parts. Wait. Oh, so I have a research part. Oh, I haven't even learned these yet. Wait, I'm gonna get flexible fishing pole. Oh, okay. Got you. Now I see how that works. But... Thirty-five, ten percent. Oh, so you only allow me to have it in like specific spots, okay? Oh, we got an encyclopedia. I think this first episode is going to be a lot about learning this stuff, but I, I'm not going to bore you guys with. Uh, all this stuff uh, by the looks of it. So these are coastal. Aberrations. Aberration of. Oh, so these are like the fucked up creatures. You could see it. Look, they're like like they're like the the messed up versions of it. We got shallow. So there's three different abrasions these guys oh so i could just turn so we got coastal shallow coastal oceanic oh so i don't even have like i can't even look at the oceanic or any of that wait i can Nah, now I'm confused. How does this work? Oh. So I'll start off at like Haddle. And then I'll flip through. There's 54 fucking pages. Okay, yeah, we're not gonna go through that. Let's just go to sleep. I saw this there. And I guess we're back out to fishing. Should I go explore that island across? I'll do some fishing and then could quickly head over to that island. I'll stock up real quick. Okay, these are the fish I couldn't fish earlier because they're shallow. Boom, gulf flounder. Wow, you take up space. 
Oh, but you're big. A pathetic, cowardly, bottom-dwelling fish. Yeah, you pathetic. Pathetic fish. Get on my line. Okay, I'm due. I hope this sells well, bro. If it doesn't sell well, I'm gonna flip my shit. Because it takes up a lot of space. I think these are the mackerels. Or the... No, the... Is this a mackerel? Yeah, mackerel. Alright. I mean, so far I like this game. It's, uh... It's definitely not... The type... Of game that... Where was I going with this? It's definitely not the type of game that looks like it'd be very scary. But also, I don't know. Haven't been out in the fog yet. <clears throat> but, I mean, I like the art style. I like the mechanics. And it's kind of peaceful, not going to lie. This kind of uh, brings me back to the days of Sea of Thieves. I used to play that for a bit and uh, kind of grinded it out and let me tell you way too many hours on that way too many are these stingrays wow you are Huge, buddy. Okay, it's okay. You can go back in the water. What is this? Oh, shipwreck. Oh, you can get... Dredge. That's what that's called. Okay, well... Oh, there's sharks, too. Okay, let me pull up here. It's becoming nighttime. I'm gonna dock up. Trader. Wow, you look very nice, sir. My name is, uh, Mr. Uh, I don't know. What name does he look like he owns? Or maybe he'll tell me. It's a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Oh, his name's just Trader. We'll call you Gainer. His name is Gainer. Hello. Is that a... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Those things must be thick, those lenses. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Yeah, I've got a uh, flounder. No. Oh, I mean, I guess you only buy jewelry and stuff. Okay, well, you're definitely not the guy I want to see yet. Let's make our way back to... Ah, uh, I like this angle. Can I see myself in there? Mm, no. I'm gonna go to that village out there um, next. Oh, those are. Look, maybe I can catch them. Oh, I caught it. I mean, that's kind of it. I don't have space. Yeah, no, I don't have space. Watch the fog now there because your panic, bright lights, and sleeping will reduce it. Oh, so I panic? 
Yeah, this is exactly like... Um, don't starve. I think it's... Yeah, don't starve. I remember used to panic in that game too. And then... You'd like build up like... All of a sudden you start seeing like all these like shadows and monsters. So... <coughs> Sorry guys, my throat's a bit dry. Alright, fishmonger. I've had a special order come around, come through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Uh, they asked for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you've got a, when you've got them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water. Fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should be able to sort that for you. Have you got any fish for that order? Uh, yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order on ice until it's all ready to go. Okay, I got a... How do I give it? Oh, I just put it here. Alright. That's kind of all I got. Sorry, bud. Alright, come back when you have everything. Now it's a regular business, eh? Boom, boom. Okay, flounder, 11. Okay, so the cods sell very nicely. So do these shrimp. I mean, uh, squid. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal species. Sometimes you can even tell just looking at the surface. Okay. I mean, I appreciate it. Pursuits, one flounder eel, encyclopedia, okay. Okay, so this shows me all the coastal. Oh, now I know how this works, man. You select them as in like what you want to see. You want to see just coastal. You want to see coastal and shallow. Coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal. Oh, so there's only 69 of everything. Okay. I mean, that's more or less what I've caught. Well, anyways. Pursuit, flounder. What's my money looking like? Shipwright? The skies were lit up with a weird crimson glow the other night. Did you see it? No. I wasn't looking at the sky. Did I miss something important? Um, do I have enough for this? I do not. Okay, I'll be back to buy that light after. Let's rest. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Uh, Why are you here? Um, come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Hello, Mayor. What do you want? Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Little Marrow. Do we have a... Oh, sorry. All full up? No. I have. I have. The mayor hands you a small damn package bound in string. It's drippled slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. I have a map? Oh, okay, well, obviously there's nothing on the outside, but... Twisted Strand. Devil's Spine. Where's Little Marrow? Oh, Little Marrow's just across, okay. Undock, let's go. To Little Marrow. Little Marrow Jr. Okay, so that's Little Marrow, and this is Big Marrow, right? 
Maybe because the mayor's there. So he's the big boy, the big boss. Does that mean if I go out there, it's no longer coastal and that's like oceanic? Is this all like coastal and shallow and all that? I guess I gotta keep an eye out for more fish. Come on, almost there. God damn, this boat is slow. Huh, what? A delivery? Let's see here. Dock worker. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Mm. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will this will do nicely. I'll pay you, I suppose. Hands you some money. Twenty-five. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. We surely get more use out of it. He pulls the crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. So that's it. I delivered it. Okay. Oh, so these are like... Cop to order. Okay, I need a eel. Let's go find me an eel. Holy, this is the stingray. What did I just... Okay, well, I know how to turn that on. Oh yeah, never seen a man so good. Um, that's it though, no more fish. Oh, that's so cool, there's a shadow on my boat. Uh, where am I supposed to find this eel? <gasps> eel? No, it's not an eel. Shark. Think I could catch that? Think it'll hurt me? Is that even a shark? I don't know if that's a sh that's a shark, yeah. Okay, no, that's oceanic. I'm trying to eel? Question mark eel. Oh fuck! Wow, these are like weird like ways of catching stuff. Boom. I could catch a few of these. What are we thinking here? Thinking... Whatever, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. I wanted to visit that little city out there, but... It's about to be nighttime. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go for it. See if I can make it. Alright, we made it. Uh, it's nighttime, but we're here. So there's a workshop. The workshop looks as though it has been used... Hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. It's locked. Rune Mansion. The door is locked. So what the fuck did I come out here for? Now we have to cross these waters in the dark. Oh, damn, dude. She was talking about the skies earlier. I mean, I see that, but I don't know what that is. Oh, there's noise, bro. There are definitely noises that I don't like. Wait, so you're telling me I crashed at this lighthouse right here? you tell telling me I pulled up and just boom, my boat just crashes right there and that's it? Are you kidding me? 
couldn't my guy couldn't have made it like uh, 20 more feet in front of him without dying maybe you wouldn't have to be paying off all these goddamn taxes the money would be going straight to me anyways um well i completed your shit what can i do for you what happened to the last fisherman i want to ask about the wider region i just pay off some of my debt okay uh i should go what happened to the last fisherman hmm the last fisherman oh he was very unreliable he'd go out at night come back with no fish and proceed to sleep all day what was that oh that's the bell there's also a terrible captain i mean really terrible constantly running around on the reef even in broad daylight the ship probably almost ran out of wood for repairs no he was no good one evening he left and never came back so long he shan't be missed by us now what else can i do for you certainly is there somewhere in particular you'd wish to know about i mean if you're gonna make me ask about all four gale cliffs well the main port over there is a place called ingfell ingfell it's right on the approach to the cliffs you can't miss it it's a whaling town but i haven't heard much talk of it these days i think quite a few people have left one way or another why is the bell ringing is there another area you'd like to discuss? Stellar Basin. Quite a popular tourist destination. There's a resort on the atoll built on top of a beautiful coral reef. I'm sure there's a wide variety of fish there. Maybe you fancy getting your hooks into some of those. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Yes, Twisted Strand. Hmm, hmm. I don't think there's much to tell. It's just a tangled mass of trees. It's often blanketed in a thick fog even during the day. You'd want some good lights and good sense of direction if you'd go exploring there. Is there another one? Yes, Devil's Spine. My Spine. That's the spine I, I have, guys, by the way. It's a Devil's Spine. Ah, yes, it's quite exciting, really. It's an active volcano amongst a city of ancient ruins. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in the water and would surely tear through your hole. Not to mention that aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You can occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? No, that's all. Okay, well, I ask about everything I need. Uh, let's go sell some fish. Have you got any fish for that order? Yes. Just leave whatever you have here. I'll keep the order. Okay, yeah. There you go. 42, thank you, Mr. Fishmonger. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many fishermen, fishing squids these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Man, I already got some squids earlier. Um, okay, well, damn, Stingray's 37. It's so basically, boom, that just, that what I sold right there was basically his little quest. Alright, well, I mean, how much debt am I supposed to pay, by the way? I'm just walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood. With a spring in his step. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic news. Thankfully, partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. My guy, I've only came here like two days ago. And I've paid like... Maybe like $15 in tax. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a cons... A constant. A consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services... Might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad to have chosen to be here with us. Whatever. Fucking. I'm butchering the words. Dry dock. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessels here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment, and even superior holes. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials for these projects. 
lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? Plenty of these materials. Okay, yeah. Serial signs sort of upgrade here will be stored. So don't worry if you have half of what we need. Do I have... Oh. Oh. I like this. I like this tree. I actually saw some materials out there, but how the fuck do I grab it? Okay, so that's dry dock ship right. I want a light, miss. Boom. Okay. I mean, I don't know if I want to buy stuff off her. Because when you go to like... Um, when you go to... Yeah, here, research. There's this right here, which looks insane. I just need research parts. I don't know if I want to waste my money on this stuff. Like on buying other shitty things. Oh, actually, if I get one more, I could get coastal and shallow. Which means I won't need this right here. Yeah, this simple skimmer. Oh, do you think I can get more space on my boat too? Or is this like the max load? Alright, well. I don't know how long I've been recording for, but um, I think I'm going to call it a night here. Or is there something else I want to explore first? Um, yeah, no. I think we'll call it for now. Um... I've already learned basically most of the like stuff in the game, so I don't think I'll be needing to spend most of the next episode trying to learn. Instead, I can actually focus on more of the story. Maybe explore a little more at night, or whatever this beam is. There's like this huge beam. But, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, hopefully... In the next episode, I can also see whatever that cabin is, because it said it was locked. And I'm going to assume that there's some mysteries lurking around. The people here in this town also look very weird. Based off of like how everyone's talking, and then that old lady, like housekeeper, she was like, get out of here. I'm going to assume that uh, not everything in this town is as sweet as it may seem. So, well, anyways, until uh, the next episode, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.